Hey, it's me Destin from Smarter Every Day. So I'm making this video to help people understand how to crunch big files, big video files into smaller video files. Use a program called MPEG Stream Clip. You can get it at squared5.com. It's really good freeware. So anyway, what you're going to do is you can do several things. You can just open files from this. So if you wanted to say pull open a file from where you went curling earlier today, just say you wanted to do that. I don't know why you would want to do that, but let's just pretend that you would. So, I think this is it, maybe? Nope, that's not it. Maybe this is it. That's it. So you can open those files, um, like this, and you can crunch them one at a time by the good old mark in and out. So you go to any point in the video that you want, hit I for mark in, you can go somewhere else and hit O for mark out, and then you can export as whatever you want. QuickTime, MPEG-4, whatever. It's you know pretty straightforward. You can crunch everything in here. But the most important thing about this software is you can make batch lists. So we would make a batch list, list, batch list, add files, and let's say we had a bunch of curling files that we wanted to do from today. So let's go to 3990, I believe it was. I don't know. Let's just make something up. 3990 to 3996. Let's say those are the files that you want. Then you would just say to batch. You can't see it. There it is. You could say to batch. And then you can export them however you want. I'm going to say quick time. You can do MPEG 4 if you want to crunch them really, really small. You can use H.264. You can also join the files together to make one long file. I don't recommend that. Click OK. And then it brings up a destination folder. What I typically do is I make a new folder and I called it MPEG. So in the same directory, it's just called MPEG. That's what I normally do. Here you go. So at this point, you can start figuring out how to crunch it. So what I've already done is, since these are 1920 by 1080 files, I just pulled up a calculator and I just divided them by 4. So 1920 divided by 4 is 480. And I did the same thing for 1080. So it's 480 by 270 is a fourth of the size of a 1920 by 1080 file. So at that point, you've got them all figured out. You can interlace or not interlace. I choose to interlace when I'm just trying to make them small. You can pick whatever type of compression you want. Um, just for simplicity's sake, we'll just leave it what it is. Quality, 25%, so it's really, really poopy video. However, this is good for doing things like sending it over the internet for other people to preview. So once you say batch, it's going to put those on your batch list here. And at this point, all you have to do is you can add files from different locations, or you can just hit go. And when you hit go, it's going to start processing, and it runs through it pretty fast. So you can go through like 8 gigs of video in not long at all. I'd say probably 10, 15 minutes. But a lot of times what I do, if I want to share some of my, my footage with somebody, I'll do this and then I'll just send it to them. Anyway, that's how you use MPEG Stream Clip, and uh, you can get it, I think it's squared5.com. I'm Destin, you're getting smarter every day. Have a good one.